Kid Cudi recently treated himself to a new mansion in Calabasas that really shows he's made it. The estate spans over 11 acres of land in Calabasas, California, and the mansion itself may be a little generic, but it's nothing short of stunning, boasting features like half a dozen spacious bedrooms, a palatial staircase, and much more. So let's take a look at Kid Cudi's luxury home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kid Cudi is a rapper, singer, and actor who rose to fame following the release of his first official full-length mixtape, A Kid Named Cudi, which caught the attention of Kanye West. Since then, he's found plenty of success in the music industry, even winning two Grammys. Kid Cudi has transformed that success into an estimated $16 million net worth, and now a $7.7 .7 million mansion in a posh-gated community. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out where rapper Kid Cudi calls home. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Just to get a little background, Kid Cudi was born Scott Ramon Seguromas Cudi in Cleveland, Ohio on January 30th, 1984, a ways away from his current Hollywood location. He grew up in a middle class home with three older siblings, his mom Elsie, who was a middle school teacher, and his father Lindbergh, a house painter and war veteran. While his middle class upbringing provided him with a comfortable life, his childhood was still fraught with issues from his parents arguing, and his father sadly passing away from cancer when he was only 14. While his middle class upbringing provided him with a comfortable life, his childhood was still fraught with issues from his parents arguing, and his father sadly passing away from cancer when Cuddy was only 11. For much of his time growing up, Kid Cuddy actually lived in a diverse upper class suburb called Shaker Heights and also attended Shaker Heights High School. Cuddy began rapping towards the end of his high school run, inspired by alternative hip-hop groups. He then moved to Brooklyn, New York to pursue a music career, and after his first real mixtape, the rest was history. Over the more recent years, Kid Cuddy has lived in a few Los Angeles homes, which is where he still lives to this day. While there isn't much information out there about the rapper's former residence, we do know back in 2010, he bought a house in LA. At the time, it was said the house Kid Cudi was moving into had previously belonged to Fred Durst of Limp Bizkit, so it had some Hollywood history. Kid Cudi just recently upgraded his living situation in summer 2021 with his purchase of a $7.7 .7 .7 million crib in Calabasas, California. Calabasas is a decidedly affluent and popular neighborhood in Los Angeles on the western edge of the San Fernando Valley and home to plenty of celebs from some of the Kardashians to The Weeknd to Katie Holmes and many more. Cuddy's new dig sits on 11.5 acres of sprawling land in a small and private gated enclave with a super hilly backdrop and amazing views. It's clear that the rapper's new home or mansion, I should say, does have a lot of the same features as hundreds of other suburban mansions built over the last few decades in the same area, but that fact doesn't make it any less stunning. Built in 2001, the lavish home is likely bigger than any of Cuddy's former homes and worthy of bragging, spanning 8,925 square feet of space. There are six spacious bedrooms and eight bathrooms throughout, and as you can see from exterior views, the home is built in a classic Mediterranean style. A long gated driveway leads you up to Cuddy's mansion and aside from garages for up to four whips, the motor court is humongous and more like a parking lot. Perfect for showing off some nice wheels. And the rapper, well, he has a special place in his heart for luxury cars, as you might expect. Kid Cuddy drives a Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG, which is reportedly one of his favorites. Also in his garage, you'll find a Porsche 911 Carrera 4S, a Range Rover, and a 1969 cherry red Mercedes-Benz Cabriolet, which he calls Betty. Past the sweeping motor court and large front door, there's an even more sweeping staircase. Walking into Kid Cudi's new double-height foyer, it's grand to say the least, with twin curved staircases boasting iron railings designed to impress. There are neutral colored marble floors underfoot, crisp white walls, and an artsy chandelier overhead, while the entry hall leads you further into the mansion's common rooms. 
One of these rooms includes the large and airy formal living room which sports a fireplace, wet bar and more than one set of French doors out to the yard. The nearby dining room also has glass doors out to the terrace making for a ton of natural light, while we can see the table will accommodate at least 10 guests. Cuddy's new home has the neutral colored travertine tiles throughout as well as white marble in the kitchen and bathrooms which are similar to plenty of other mansions but they match the vibe here. The rapper's kitchen boasts two waterfall style islands for an elegant look, stainless steel appliances including a fancy oven range and in one corner a bright breakfast nook. Not only is his kitchen open up to the breakfast area, it also connects to another family room boasting a fireplace with flat screen TV above plush furnishings and several French doors leading to the ground. Also in his comfortable family room, there's a climate controlled wine cellar behind a floor to ceiling glass wall which is ideal to show off to visitors. Also in Cuddy's new abode, there's a room that was configured into a small home gym with an attached bathroom but depending on his preferences, he can turn this space into whatever he pleases, even a staff or guest suite. Elsewhere, you'll find a large home theater which offers a ceiling mounted projection system and plush seating on raised platforms for a complete moviegoer experience. There is even a popcorn machine and a drink cart so you never have to leave the room on a movie night. The rapper's mansion has a handful of ensuite and family bedrooms upstairs where there's also a loft like second floor lounge. This cute space is versatile and could be used as a studio, games room or simply somewhere to kick back and hang out. Cuddy's master suite is a cozy retreat that's fully stocked with whatever amenities you'd need, including a separate seating room, private balcony, TV room and more. The attached bath is made up of nearly all white marble and there's a large glass walk-in shower as well as a separate tub set against a huge window with a view. Not to mention, his master suite is complete with not one but two walk-in closets. Now let's look at the impressive grounds. It seems the resort style pool is perfect if Cuddy wants to throw parties or else he can just enjoy it all to himself. There's a spa, grotto, slide, even dolphin statues and waterfalls. If sports happen to be your thing, his property has a putting green and a sports court. One of my favorite things back here has got to be the live turtle pond since that's pretty rare. Elsewhere on the grounds, a tiki style structure shades a large bar and a built in barbecue and seating to dine outside, while nearby there's a fire pit and bench style seating to take in the city and mountain views. Behind the pool, a steep hillside boasts a vineyard so maybe the multi talented Kid Cudi will even become a winemaker someday. So now we've taken a look at where Kid Cudi calls home and what did you guys think? What was your favorite room in his new Calabasas mansion or fancy amenity? I love the outside including the fully stocked pool, tiki bar and of course the turtle ponds. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about the rapper's mansion down in the comments. That's it for this video, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I will see you all next time. Bye!